A lot of us here at YouTube S had absolutely no idea who he was because he came from the Chronicle. Adam is definitely, he's a no BS kind of guy. That he can have so much on his plate and he will be like the most least stressed person. Like he'll just like, he won't even show to anyone that he's stressed and he'll always just be like super calm. He's one of the people that believes in me the most and he helps me be the best I can be. He's always instilling confidence in me. He is someone that can talk tough when, you know, when needed and if something's wrong then he immediately, uh, you know, he wants to get it fixed. Adam Farhat probably gives the best advice out of anybody I know. He's always laughing, he's always super loud, so I, you, you, always, you always can hear him coming like into the newsroom, so it's always like fun, and then he always like, he knew everyone's name like right away, so that was always nice. I really don't want to work for anybody else after working for Adam. I'll <laughs> find some way to follow him, you know, one way or another. I'll miss him when he's gone. Curtis. He is an oddball. He, he's one of my favorite people to work with. He was somebody I learned from every time I'm with him because not only can Alex write stories and make packages, uh, but he's able to do the behind the scenes things that not all journalists know how to do. He can edit so well and he knows all the different tricks and techniques and uh, if there was one senior I learned the most from, it was probably him. He is so smart when it comes to technology and figuring things out. You show him how to do something one time and he automatically remembers how to do it and can teach other people. He's very, very good at teaching people. I know one of the first times that um, I came to UTVS, he was the first person to take me under his wing. Every time I see him in the newsroom, he's always walking up to people, asking them how their day is going, you know, just trying to, trying to get people to lighten up. In this industry, if you don't have the drive, then you're not gonna make it. But Alex Curtis, that man, is going to make it far because he will do whatever it takes to get it done. Good luck to Alex, good luck, I hope you do the Whatever it is you're trying to do in the sports journalism world, but I know you'll make it, so good luck. So I'll talk about Ashley. Ashley Terry. My girl, Ashley Terry. Man, I don't even know where to start with her. Ashley and I worked together this year in HP. We sat next to each other, so I got to know her really well, and she's a really great person to work with. We really got to know each other um, once we started HP and our Five Second Rule show. Brian Stanley told us, about this dating website for married men called Ashley Madison, and that's how he was, and that's how he remembered our names. She came off as really quiet, and then I got to know her more of like a nerdy side, which is super appreciative um, because we could both relate through internet memes. I think she's very hardworking, and she's also a very fast worker. She had to do a lot of graphics in HP, and she was able to always get them done really quickly. She's just so genuine and really authentic in the sense that you don't really find that a lot. I just thought we worked really well together, and I enjoyed everything that I got to do with her. I know that I'm going to be talking with her for the rest of my life. Um, she's one of the friends, one of my friends, oh my gosh. Thanks Ashley for being a bro, being a bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey is the most bubbly and fun-spirited and down-to-earth, genuine girl that I have ever met. I met Bailey when we went on our semester abroad to Annick, England, and she was always so much fun to just chat on the bus when we were going on our field trips. She's just very, like, springy, and just her energy is just very positive, and I love that. I think that she puts in a lot of hard work into what she does, and it's very effective, and I think that if anyone is here at this TV station or in this career that's here for the right reasons, it's Bailey. I think Bailey's got a lot of good qualities. I think one of them is being just an overall really nice person because I feel like in this field it can kind of get to your head. But I think if she maintains just being nice to everybody and just really polite and just being exactly who she is, I think she's gonna go very far just off of the person that she is. Bobby is, <laughs> she's such a fun person to work with. I miss her always laughing or like, she'd always like come rushing into the newsroom and be like, Curtis, Curtis, I need help, I need your help. And then she'd like grab me and like, it'd be something like simple, but it'd just be like, well, you know, that's Bobby. You just, you laugh about it, it was funny. First time I actually met Bobby, I was at a football game and she was working sideline and I went up to her and her brother's like, yeah, this is Bobby. Me, Jacob, and I was like, yeah, nice to meet you, whatever. And she was like, oh my gosh, I need help. Uh, I gotta ask Coach Underwood some questions and I don't know what to do. Do I ask this and this and this? She had like 12 questions written down. And I was like, how many do you have to ask? She's like, two. 
she she really does love this industry and she strives to to do her best and that's why she left early and uh, got a job already but I don't know sometimes it's a little hectic with Bobby she's uh some sometimes can be a little rambunctious a little wild and crazy but and at the end of the day she uh She's good at what she does. I think Bobby is really driven as well. I think she has a lot of potential and she's has a great personality for on air and she's so energetic and always makes you feel really good about yourself. Elle just like doesn't really care what people think of her. She is so, she has like these fun voices she always talks in. She's always looking to help other people and she's always right there. She might be one of the most underrated people in UTBS that we've had this year. Uh, there's not a specific word I could ever use to describe her because she's she's just her own person, I guess. Doing vos arts with her, she just seeing her different camera angles that she would do. She would like literally would lie on the floor one time. She just has such a kick-ass work ethic and she's gonna go so far in this business. She's a fun reporter. We always joke around when she like does her stand-ups goofy and sometimes she'll have one sleeve up and one all the way down and she, <laughs> she makes a fool of herself sometimes but she always is so fun about it and she doesn't get like offended when you make fun of her. Elle, it's been a pleasure working with you this semester. You are one crazy lady and your personality is just Nuts would be the good word to put it. And I just wish you the best of luck as you go on to do whatever it is, and I'm sure you'll continue with your craziness along the way. Heath is the nicest person that you'll ever meet. He comes and compliments me every single day. What I love about Heath Bradberg, his fake name, I know it's Marquad, but I will really miss his funky personality, his loving jokes. If you're nervous about us being here at all, being on camera, Heath kind of isn't, or at least he doesn't act like he is, and it pulls you out a little more and uh, makes it more casual, more comfortable with what you're doing. He just brought this big positive energy. I had no idea who he was. I'd never met anyone before. So coming to St. Cloud and having like the UTVS crew, especially Heath, just like make me feel so welcomed and involved. Just really like emphasize what a great person he is. I'm excited to see where he goes from here because I know that wherever this takes him, he'll walk in there, act like he owns the place, and I can't wait to watch him on TV. He makes everyone feel so uplifted, and I think that's a good thing to have. With, surround yourself with people like Keith. Mmm, girl. <laughs> I met Josie, oh gosh, like, two or three years ago now. And at first, she would drive me crazy because she's all like, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? MNL, dude. Dude, what's up? Yeah, dude. But now, she just makes me laugh so hard. She like, kinda like walks in like with that swagger and she's always like, has like really cool style and she's always like, my outfit today is inspired by Avril Lavigne. And like, she just always has a really cool attitude. Really creatively, inclined and it makes it she makes such a fun atmosphere for everybody around her and it's really kind of infectious with her energy she's one of honestly the most hardworking people that i know she makes everybody else do better um, i know i try to like strive to you know get up to josie's standards in that regard and uh, she never says it's good enough me and greg are gonna miss uh, saying go jacks to josie because we're the only bemidji kids here Go Jax. I got to interview her after she hit a walk-off home run on her birthday. And then we started talking a little bit after that and then she joined UTVS and since then it has been so much fun to work with her. The fashion icon herself, every time I see her, she looks amazing. Like she could be in like sweatpants and be like, oh, okay, you're perfect. She's a really good person. She's very hardworking and like she has such a crazy schedule, but somehow she always manages to check in with the sports department. She handles herself so well and the situation that she got thrown into this year, I, I'm amazed at what she's done and how she's been able to do it. She's such a strong and smart and powerful woman and she's such a good example and she always really inspires me to be a leader and I feel like she's very responsible and really has a good head on her shoulders. She obviously balances a lot and has a lot on her plate but somehow she manages to get it all done so I admire that about her. I know that she's gonna go so far and I'm really excited for her and um, I'm definitely going to miss Megan a lot. 
What is it like working with me? I remember when I was in high school and he used to anchor when he was in college and I used to log on my computer at home to watch Neil anchor UTVS News and um, he was a really big reason why I actually ended up coming about coming to this program and why I knew about this program. Brought him on as station manager last year. I was like super pumped, like pretty low key. I was like really pumped that he was going to be the station manager just because I knew I was working with the station manager a lot. We'd always talk about how Every decision we made was like huge for the program and big for the program. I'll ask Neil, be like, hey, can you help me with this? He's like, yeah, I, I got it. I know what's going on. Whether it's TV or anything else, he just really likes to learn. He really likes to get his hands on things. If Neil knows everything, I can know everything. And so it's been pushing me a lot to work on different things, different departments, and like getting my brain around everything here at UTVS. I mean, he's probably one of the more like chill guys I've, I've met here. The one thing I think a lot of people can attest to though is he's also one of the most indecisive guys that I've met. We're sitting there trying to order food at 7 West and he's going through the entire damn menu like I don't know what to get. I told the waitress, I'm like, look man, you're gonna have to give her a couple minutes, why don't you start over here? And he went all the way around and he still wasn't ready to order. I'm like, what the hell, John Z? I mean, he'll take a long time to figure out if he actually wants to do something. We'll ask him, yo, John T, you wanna go here? I'll be like, ah. I mean, I want to go, but at the same time, I need to finish this paper, but I really want to hang with you guys, and we're just like, make up your mind, man. We give him crap for it, but in the long run, him being so organized with his life is really going to pay off. Like, we call him a dad, but honestly, he's going to have his stuff together when we're all scrambling. You're going to love him. I mean, he's the most genuine and down-to-earth person. I he never has a bad thing to say about anyone. Junty's one of those guys that always has a good, positive attitude, and uh, although he can't make a decision, he sure is a good friend, and um, I'm sure to hope that uh, that friendship sticks around for, for a while to come. Ryan Schuster contributes a lot to UTVS, and uh, I think sometimes that goes unnoticed, but I think we all just have to appreciate him for the work that he puts in. As I kind of engulfed myself in the world of TV, I, I think Ryan definitely took the initiative to like kind of coach me and, and teach me his what he knows and help me out with that whole process. He's really always around to have a quick chat or just ask you how life's going and just see what you're up to. One thing that will never surprise you is the bowl of ravioli that he brings to the checkout on a daily basis. We were sitting in uh, COM 491 uh, advanced video editing with Fergus. In between keyboard clicks and mice clicks and everything, all you hear is just like a spoon in a bowl and stink, stink, stink. Schuster. You've been there, man, when m &L has set on fire um, and you've really helped us. I really appreciate that. Um, you know your stuff, and I just want you to keep pursuing that one dream, Mr. Shu. Sarah was one of the first people I started working with, and right from the get-go, as everybody knows, she is probably the hardest working person here at UTVS. We started UTVS, I believe, the same semester, and she just took off. When people are kind of slacking, she knows how to, like, whip them back into shape. I really admire her work ethic. I think she's one of the most driven people here at UTVS and I can see her going so far and being on a huge network and she just is gonna be super successful in life. She's also real fun to work with because, you know, she's another one of those people that just are so bright and uh, jovial. She especially has the ability to just take a story, run with it, and put all of her passion into each and every story. And I just want to wish Sarah good luck. She's already out there working, and it's just, it's really inspiring to see, and kind of makes you feel lazy yourself, but um, I'm just excited to see where she goes, because with Sarah, you just, you know that she's going to go places with this. Scott's one of the nicest guys I know. I remember when he first came in, we were all really jealous of him because we were like, damn, that guy is sexy. Honestly, I can tell you that Scott is probably the most humble person that I know. He um, honestly, every time puts other people before himself. He always comes into the newsroom. He's got such a positive attitude. Um, he's always been great to work with. He's super encouraging. Scott is another guy where like, he'll he'll go beyond what he has to do. Like we, like we were down 
like staff on Mondays last semester and he would go out and shoot b-roll if he had to. Scott's always willing to help. That is honestly the number one thing. You know, you see him, he's like, uh, last week, last reporting day, he's reporting, right? And he's like, I'll jib, I'll do cam three. And it's like, Scott, you're always trying to, you know, uh, step it up and stuff. He's another guy that I can tell if, if he just keeps that, you know, you do what I, you do, I'll do what you want me to do and I'll do it to the best of my ability. That's something that you need in the world and he's got it and I can't wait to see what, what, what the future has in store for him. I thought Uba Ali brought a lot to UTVS. Uh, she's fearless, she's badass, and her packages, they're so unexpected each week. I think Uba is one of, the, uh, one of the many talented reporters we have here at UTVS, and she definitely um, you know, sparks a lot of creativity. You are hilarious. Um, you have such an energy that you, you, like, you know how to control your energy, but you're very, you're very professional, and that like really, it inspires me in the sense that I don't know, you can still have fun, but you also really want to do your work. She's definitely, she's one of, you know, for how hard working she is and how motivated and, you know, right to the get-go she is, she's very sensitive. And sometimes, you know, as journalists, we kind of forget that. I, I just wish you the best of luck, Uba. Like, your confidence and, like, on your grind, as you would call it, would be, it's awesome. Um, keep it up, um, and if you need anything, just let me know. Have a holla when you're super famous. As a reporter next semester, I'm really excited to look at her packages and bring them to mine. And I think she's just really a good worker and she's gonna go really far. Zach Anderson is just the coolest guy that you could probably ever meet. He is so relaxed and laid back and you just gotta love that guy. He, he makes other people, tries to include other people and uh, it's always a fun time hanging out with Zach. He's a pretty mellow dude, but he says, don't make the Brooklyn Center come out of me, and he'll just go ape about certain things, and it's just so funny. And he'll say, don't worry, I'll wait, and that's like his go-to line when he's like kind of being sassy, so I think it's hilarious. The amount of time that this guy spends laughing is unreal, and I think that everyone should be more exact. Just laugh all the time. He's just such a joy to be around. I'm definitely gonna miss him being down to hang out with me whenever. And he's just a go-lucky guy, and I think he's gonna go really far. He's just got this even presence about him that's really cool. <laughs> that was so him. It's been nothing less than an honor and a privilege working with every single one of you at UTVF. I've been at UTVS for five years. This place has helped me through everything. When I had cancer, when I was just around, and I wanna thank every single one of you for helping me through that. It's really the people that um, I've been under uh, beforehand and the people that I work with every single day that uh, made this experience as special as it was for me. Y'all are super cool and take all the skills that we've learned, go into the world and just be awesome. Just working with all of y'all, it's been really fun and getting to know all you. I know every single one of you are, are going to do really well. Everyone here is so talented that they pushed me to be better. It's really weird sitting in this chair right now because um, I always remember going to the general meetings and watching people talk about their senior year and didn't ever think it was gonna happen. I'm excited to one day like look at a TV station and be like, oh, my friends from college, that's them, they're famous. I think the brothers thing was pretty cool. I think everybody enjoys that. I think we're all gonna be sitting there while we watch this video. UTBS is one of the best opportunities that anyone could really take advantage of. So honestly, like put the mindset in there that it's gonna be a lot of work, but at the end of the day, you're gonna be really happy with all the time and effort you did put in. The one thing that I would say to every single one of you is don't ever let an opportunity pass you up. Regardless if you, if you think you can do it or not, whether you think you're good enough or not. You do it 100% because that's something that you'll be learning and using the rest of your life. Make yourself known here, not by what you do on air, but what you do behind the scenes. You know, all the dirty work that you do to put, put the shows together. Um, all those countless Sundays and Saturdays and days that you're editing that you're not gonna get credit for that, but that's what makes you a good journalist. So don't you know, slack off the one time you're tired and don't feel like going to a shoot because at the end of the day you'll regret it because it's such an amazing opportunity with all the equipment 
and all the people we have to teach us and be able to take us to the places that we want to go.